Hello and welcome to episode two of From The Collection. And if you have a problem with this episode, and if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can collect the A-Team. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. And the focus of today's episode is the A-Team Armoured Attack Tank from the Galoob toy line, the three and three quarter inch scaled A-Team toy line from the mid 80s. I acquired this particular toy at a toy show several years ago. The box was quite beat up. I had to apply an iron to kind of straighten it out. And as you can see, there's a bit of fading on the, uh, on the box there. Uh, but it's a really nice piece and it displays really, really well in the collection. One of the main reasons that I picked this up the day that I saw it at this particular toy show is because this was a toy that I had in childhood and I really, really liked. One of the odd things about Galoob's A-Team toy line back in the 80s was that the figures came out in a number of different scales. You had Mr. T in like a 12 inch scale, then you had a series of smaller six inch scaled figures. These were the better figures in my opinion. These were a lot deal better than the three and three quarter inch O-ring style figures, but the vehicles were quite lacking. You know, they didn't have the signature A-Team van in that scale. So if you're a fan of the vehicles, the three and three quarter inch line is the way to go. And before Galoob had finished making A-Team toys, they'd actually produced five different vehicles for this line. Obviously you had the A-Team van. I always wanted Faces Corvette because it was the other vehicle that was actually featured in the TV show, but I never got that. And then Murdoch had a jet bomber and Hannibal came with a patrol boat. But the only member of the A-Team to actually get two vehicles was B.A. Barakas because he came with the van, but he also came with the attack tank. This tank was manufactured in black plastic and they applied the red stripe to the side of the tank, very similar to the A-Team van. It seats a couple of figures in the driver's seat, the turret rotates, and this also tows a trailer that's got a ton of accessories. Like, I don't know how difficult it would be to piece one of these together loose, because there are a number of items that come in the trailer, which when assembled, actually form a tow missile launcher with a tripod. But for me, one of the best things about having this toy in childhood is that it doubled as a really awesome uh, Cobra tank for my Action Force G.I. Joe battles. Now while Galoob's A-Team toy line is known as kind of a bit cheap and chintzy, you know, it's almost like it, it, they were like a knockoff toy company actually making licensed toys. They're very fragile, you know, the figures, the vehicles, all the things, they broke really, really easily. They were nowhere near to the same, you know, the figures were designed in the same fashion, that O-ring style construction fashion as Hasbro's G.I. Joe, but the quality just wasn't there. It was a different type of plastic. It was incredibly fragile, very, very brittle. However, if you're a collector of, you know, retro pop culture and you're into the A-Team, the vehicles really are where it's at. In my collection, I only have the tank, which is boxed, and I have the van, which is loose. I would love to get the Corvette, not really too interested in, in the jet bomber and the patrol boat. I think that must be one of the hardest A-Team vehicles to get because in all my years of collecting, I've never actually seen one in the flesh. But at the end of the day, this was a very much loved toy from my childhood and it takes pride of place in my vintage A-Team collection. So thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, you can click the links up here to check out some other episodes of From The Collection or subscribe by clicking down here, or consider supporting us on Patreon, where you'll get access to hours of exclusive content. I'm Tony from Analog Toys, and I'll see you in the next video.